Hello everyone. Welcome to UIAS. Let's discuss today's prelims topics. Question 1 Consider the following statements about Gagan, GPS aided geo augmented navigation. 1 It is a step by the Indian government towards initial satellite based navigation services in India. To the Gagan's goal is to provide a navigation system to assist aircraft in accurate landing over the Indian airspace only and applicable to safety to life civil operations. 3. The Airports Authority of India AI, and the Defence Research and Development Organisation DRDO, have collaborated to develop Gagan as a Regional Satellite Based Augmentation System SBAs. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. Only one. B. Only two. C. All three. D. None. The answer is A. The Gagan's goal is to provide a navigation system to assist aircraft in accurate landing over the Indian airspace and in the adjoining area and applicable to safety to life civil operations. The Airports Authority of India AAI, and the Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, have collaborated to develop Gagan as a regional satellite-based augmentation system, SBAs. Gagan is the first satellite-based augmentation system in the world that has been certified for an approach with vertical guidance operating in the equatorial ionospheric region. Gagan covers the area from Africa to Australia and has expansion capability for seamless navigation services across the region. Gagan provides accuracy, availability, and integrity essential for each phase of flight and route the approach for airports within the Gagan service volume. This makes airline operations more efficient and effective and increases air safety and fuel efficiency. Question to what is a smart bandage? One, the device is assembled on a soft, stretchable polymer that helps the bandage maintain contact with and stick to the skin. Two, the bioelectronic system consists of biosensors that monitor biomarkers in the wound exudate. Three, biosensors determine the wound status by tracking the chemical composition of the exudates, which changes as the wound heats. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. Only one. B. Only two. C. All three. D. None. The answer is C. Biosensors determine the wound status by tracking the chemical composition of the exudates, which changes as the wound heats. Additional sensors monitor the pH and temperature for real-time information about the infection and inflammation. A pair of electrodes the same electrodes that stimulate the tissue control the release of drugs from hydrogel layer. The wireless nature of the device sidesteps the problems of existing electrical stimulation devices, which usually require bulky equipment and wired connections, limiting their clinical use. Question 3 Consider the following statements about Amchang Wildlife Sanctuary. One located on the eastern fringe of Itanagar, Arunachal Pradesh. Two, it is known for its bear which has become isolated with no movement with other bear populations. Three, Amchang's habitat is dominated by tropical moist deciduous forests with semi-evergreen forests in depressions and river valleys. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. Only one. B. Only three. C. All three. D. None. The answer is B. Located on the eastern fringe of Guwahati, Assam. It is known for its elephants, which have become isolated with no movement with other elephant populations. The sanctuary is known for hosting rare and endangered birds and animals. Question 4. Consider the following statements about foot rot disease in paddy. 1. It is a soil and seed-borne deadly fungus that was seen almost in every variety of paddy. 2. Caused by Fusarium verticillioides fungi. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. Only 1. B. Only 2. 
C both D none The answer is B It is a soil and seed borne deadly fungus that was seen only in the basmati variety of paddy Question 5 consider the following statements about duty free quota free DFQF market access 1 the decision to provide duty free quota free DFQF access for least developed countries ldcs was first taken at the wto chicago ministerial meeting in 2005 to china became the first developing country to extend this facility to ldcs in 2008 3 the decision requires all developed and developing country members to declare themselves in a position to do so to provide preferential market access for all products originating from all ldcs which of the following given above is are correct a only one b only three c all three d none the answer is b the decision to provide duty free quota free dfqf access for least developed countries ldcs was first taken at the WTO Hong Kong ministerial meeting in 2005 India became the first developing country to extend this facility to LDCs in 2008 providing market access to 85% of India's total tariff lines to better integrate LDCs into the global trading system and improve their trading opportunities The scheme was expanded in 2014 providing preferential market access on about 98.2% of India's tariff lines to LDCs. India offers 11506 preferential tariff lines to LDCs of which 10 991 are duty free. Of the duty free tariff lines 1129 are agricultural goods and the remaining 9862 are non-agricultural goods of the duty free tariff lines 1129 are agricultural goods and the remaining 9862 are non-agricultural goods question 6 consider the following statements about sonic boom 1 am sonic boom is a sound associated with shock waves created when an object travels through the air faster than the speed of light two sonic booms generate enormous amounts of sound energy sounding similar to an explosion or a thunderclap to the human ear three a sonic boom occurs only at the moment an object crosses the sound barrier which of the following given above is our correct a only one b only two c all three d none the answer is b a sonic boom does not occur only at the moment an object crosses the sound barrier and neither is it heard in all directions emanating from the supersonic object a sonic boom is a sound associated with shock waves created when an object travels through the air faster than the speed of sound Question 7 with reference to adverse possession consider the following statements 1 the concept of adverse possession stems from the idea that land must not be left vacant but instead be put to judicious use to the maxim that the law does not help those who sleep over their rights is invoked in support of adverse possession 3 while the concept originally dates back to 2000 BC finding its roots in the Hammurabi code the historical basis of title by adverse possession is the development of the statutes of limitation on actions for recovery of land in England which of the following given above is are correct a only one b only two c all three d none the answer is c The concept of adverse possession stems from the idea that land must not be left vacant but instead be put to judicious use. Essentially, adverse possession refers to the hostile possession of the property which must be continuous, uninterrupted and peaceful. According to the Law Commission's report, 
The rationale behind this comes from considerations that the title to land should not long be in doubt. Society will benefit from someone making use of land the owner leaves idle, and persons who come to regard the occupant as the owner may be protected. While the concept originally dates back to 2000 BC, finding its roots in the Hammurabi Code, the historical basis of title by adverse possession is the development of the statutes of limitation on actions for recovery of land in England. The first such statute was the Statute of Westminster, 1275. However, it was the Property Limitation Act of 1874 that set the period of limitation at 12 years from when the cause of action first arose, which laid the groundwork for the limitations model inherited by colonial India. The first attempt to bring the law of limitation to domestic shores was the Act 14 of 1859, which regulated the limitation of civil suits in British India. After the passage of the Limitation Act in 1963, the law on adverse possession underwent significant changes. Question 8 Consider the following statements about bitumen. One bitumen is produced through the distillation of crude oil and also occurs naturally. Two bitumen is known for its waterproofing and adhesive properties. 3. The primary use, 70% of bitumen is in road construction, where it is used as the glue or binder mixed with aggregate particles to create asphalt concrete. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. Only one. B. Only two. C. All three. D. None. The answer is C. Thank you, everyone. Do subscribe to this channel. Use code SPLIVE to join an academy.